Okay, um, as per Thursday's discussion, you know, I do believe that um, race in America and ethnicity is used as a diversion. And the reason why I believe that is um, only among the minority groups is it so prevalent. You know, um, any minority group, and, and not just um, race or ethnicity, it could be uh, wealth, you know. Um, and I think it's used as a way to control the 85% of you know the people that don't have the money. It's the five percent that controls the eighty-five percent. I believe that, and how why I believe that is that um, they have the that five percent has over you know around eighty-five to ninety percent of the wealth and property and the power in the United States, and with that, and because of that, they have control to information and the dispersion of that information through media outlets, um, radio, and people tend to believe what they hear or see on TV and that's just fact um, you know or my fact I believe it um, people don't tend to second guess what they hear or see on TV and so you got these people with um, the five percent that have um, that have all this control and they're basically sending you um, feeding you messages or feeding us messages that we want, you know, that we, we consume with no, without question. We don't critically think about what we see or hear on television. We think it because, because it comes from Tom broke off or whatever on ABC News, NBC News, that is, that's dogma. And, um, or, you know, and we don't question it. And that's why I think that is used as a diversionary tactic because they want, and the, the main reason is that they want to keep the money they have. They want to keep it and they hoard it. They want to create more. Don't know why, uh, because how much money can you really have? You know what I mean? How much money can you really have and what? how much can you really buy with it? And I think if you look at it, they're the ones missing out because... Um, diversity and and you know this is from my perspective maybe it's just because I experienced it but I think struggle and diversity and builds not only character but a better quality person because we can understand what it's like not to have something and have to earn it and work for it hard but I think what the power elite or the, the powers that be that have the power, that have the political power, that have the, the financial power and have, you know, that, that, that have the wealth. I mean, they, what they want us to do is they want to keep us under control in a sense where they can hoard their wealth, you know, basically hoard their wealth. And they don't want to share the knowledge that, that they've gained to, you know, whatever. So, that's my take on it. Um, I wish I had some health care. Um, I mean, I'm concerned about that. I'm not, I don't. Um, I'm, I don't go out there and and judge people by their race or ethnic background, um, mainly because I have been judged by mine, um, perceived as white or. I mean, I can pass for anyone. I can pass for. I, I've been told I sometimes I look Indian. Or um, or uh, Italian, I pass for Spanish, I pass for, and I, and I get the biases from everyone. I even get um, what they call reverse bias. Um, a lot of uh, blacks um, in America um, that you know, certain situations, they they they, they have stereotypes of, of whites too. Um, and sometimes they think I'm white. I'm not white, by the way. I'm um, Italian. And uh, if you know the history of Italy and um, that, then you know what the real deal is. But a lot of people think that people with glasses, white people with glasses are smart, or overweight people are lazy, or um, they just look at you like, like um, they, they hate you or some way until they get to really know you and I think that's what the problem is in America we don't really get to know everyone each other because we use these stereotypes as a barrier as a barrier of separation and um, and 
And it's all learned. It's all learned behavior from the moment we're we, we're, we're born. Um, we learn, you know, we learn it from our parents. We learn it from the media, but mainly we learn it from um, society as a whole, which is controlled by the elite. I think um, that's my opinion. And what can we do to to, to uh, what can we do to combat that? I mean, the only thing I can say is to be vigilant. Um, don't take everything you see or hear as gospel, as dogma. Critically think about everything. Um, even even people that you trust, you should also just critically think about it and and double check sources because sometimes people hear things and then repeat it and they pass it as as like it's the truth. And really, they don't know if it's the truth. They just heard it from somebody else. So I'm just babbling right now. So I'm going to actually stop because I'm just going off on the tangent about race and ethnicity and this. I think I tend to do this, so I apologize. But anyway, guys, listen, have a great weekend. Happy uh, Valentine's Day to everyone, and I'll see you. I won't see you next Thursday. I'll see you the Thursday after. Okay, so have a great week. Bye.